Hi guys, in this video, we'll be explaining detail about the dynamic current. So coming to the introduction, it was first introduced nearly 70 years ago by Pierre Bernard, a French dentist in the France. Later, it has spread to different countries like Eurasia, Germany and Poland in the late 1960s and spread to Canada and Australia in the early 1970s. Basic principle of dynamic current is an electronic modulation of symmetrical biphasic sinusoidal waveform with a carrier frequency of 50 to 60 hertz. So they are sinusoidal currents and direct currents being rectified mains type currents with a frequency of 50 to 100 hertz. So this dynamic current is sinusoidal type of current which is rectified and they have a frequency of 50 to 100 hertz. And they are of half wave rectified or full wave rectified. So two types of rectification is there in this particular current. So first wave, first rectification is your half wave rectification. So half wave rectification means when a sinusoidal current is a half wave rectified, half of the sinusoidal oscillation is removed and the, res, re, res, and the result is no longer alternate current but a series of pulses or pulse current. So this produces a monophasic pulse current. The pulse duration is equal to the inter-pulse interval. The frequency will be 50 hertz. So in this diagram you can see, so usually this will be the sinusoidal current and in this half wave rectification, so we will be changing the pulses into inter-pulse interval. So there will be sinusoidal wave as well as inter-pulse interval. So that the, this sinusoidal wave duration will be equal to the pulse duration. So that will be like, for example, one millisecond means one millisecond of on time and one millisecond of off time. So the frequency will be 50 hertz. The pulse duration will be equal to the interpulse interval. And coming to the full wave rectification, so it duplicates the second half of the AC cycle. This is known as direct monophasic current and there will be no interpulse interval in between the pulse period and the frequency is twice to the original. So in half wave rectification the frequency will be 50 hertz because of the presence of interpulse interval and in full wave rectification there is since there is no interpulse interval the frequency will be twice than the normal frequency that is 50 into 2 that is 100 hertz. And full wave rectification involves reversing the polarity of one phase of as a sinusoidal AC current so that the current flows in same direction with each pulse. This means that the sine waves has a period of, have a period of cycle duration of 1 by 50 seconds. So each pulse is 1 by 100 or 10 milliseconds. The dynamic current in the below figure are thus a series of 10 milliseconds half sine wave shared pulses with 10 milliseconds pulse intervals. The full wave dynamic current is a continuous series of 10 millisecond sinusoidal pulses with a resultant frequency of 10 of 100 hertz. So in this diagram you can see 10 milliseconds of pulse period. So in, in between there is no interpulse interval so it will be 100 megahertz. And coming to the dynamic modes, there are different dynamic modes. First mode is a fixed monophase, second mode is fixed diaphase. Third mode is short period or quarter period and fourth mode is your long period or longest period and fifth mode and the last mode is your syncopal rhythm. The first mode is your fixed monophase. In this, they will be having half wave rectification and the frequency will be 50 hertz and the pulse period is equal to the interpulse interval that is 10 milliseconds. So the 10 milliseconds of on to 10 milliseconds of off. And this type of waves or mode will be producing stronger vibration for a prolonged period of time and it can be used for treating pain without muscle spasm for in cases like connected tissue trauma or phantom limb sensation of phantom pain cases we can use this fixed monophase, monophase mode and next mode is your fixed diaphase mode in which this is also full wave rectified so this is half wave rectified and fixed diaphase is full wave rectified alternating sinusoidal type of current and the frequency will be 100 hertz and it will be producing continuous series of 10 milliseconds impulses 
and this may produce stabbing and prickling sensations. Fixed monophase will be producing, producing vibration sensation for a prolonged period of time and fixed diaphase will be producing stabbing and prickling like sensations and it can be used to improve the circulation and for pain to reduce the pain we can use this fixed diaphase mode and next is next mode is your short period or cortex period so alternate delivery of equal diaphase and monophase and without having any intervening pauses so there will be apparent changes between tensioning the monophasic current and relaxing the diaphasic current so in diaphasic there are fine tremors and in monophasic there are strong and constant vibration effect and this shorter or cortex period can be used to treat the muscle and ligament trauma and acute injuries in this diagram you can able to see uh, one seconds of diaphase and one seconds of monophase and coming to the next mode that is a long period or longest period it consists of 6 to 10 seconds of monophasic followed by 5 seconds of diaphasic in which the peak intensity is varied the whole changes of the monophasic surge to diaphasic that is 5 to 6 seconds and back to monophasic that is 5 to 6 seconds that lasts for 10 to 12 seconds so alternate monophasic as well as diaphasic period will be present in the longest period for longer durations the gradual raising and lowering in the amplitude is associated with more pleasant sensation than produced by the cortex period and it has a long lasting analgesic effect so in this modulator or longest period you can able to see a alternate monophasic as well as diaphasic for prolonged duration so because of this alternate raising and lowering of your amplitude so it may produce a and a lasting analgesic effect so it can be used in mainly used in long spirit can mainly used in treating pain related issues like your neuralgia myalgia and arthralgia and coming to the last mode that is syncopated rhythm it is a delivery of fixed duration of monophase followed by equal rest duration so in this only you will be using a monophasic uh, rhythm as well as in between this monophasic will be monophasic phase we will be using a rest period so one second of monophase followed by one second of rest period so this can be used for faraday stimulation of your muscles motor test of nerve excitability so all these indications can be we can use this mode that is syncopated rhythm or rhythmic mode and coming to the parameters the frequency will be 50 to 100 hertz depends upon whether you are using uh, different modes and the pulse duration will be 6 to 10 milliseconds the duration will be 10 we can give this particular dynamic current for 10 to 12 minutes and the frequency of treatment should be 6 to 9 sections and coming to the indications dynamic current can be used for treating sprains strains epicondylitis arthritis rhinos disease migraine phantom pain neuralgia myalgia arthralgia primary dysmenorrhea coming to the contraindications the dynamic current should not be used for conditions like neoplasm those who are having conditions like neoplasm extreme edema hemorrhage osteomyelitis or the patient whether the patient is having any implants electronic implants over the body parts and coming to the physiologic effects the physiological effects mainly masking of the pain and vasomotor effects muscle stimulations masking of the pain means uh, under the pain gate theory mechanism the pain will be getting reduced because they may stimulate the fibers and coming to the vasomotor effects so because of the increased blood flow to the particular area healing may take place as well as because of the reduced pain all the inflammatory mediators or because of the increased stimulation of the inflammatory mediators the pain will be pain as well as the inflammation will be getting subsided as well as because of that there will be an increased blood flow also and coming to the muscle stimulation there will be a pumping of muscles because of the muscle stimulation because of the pumping effect it may either uh, lead to reduction in the 
swelling of the particular area and it may also use for reducing the edema in the particular area and it may also help for stimulating the muscles the pharynx is incorporated rhythm that may use for pharadic type of stimulations coming to the therapeutic effects first effect is your pain relief next one is your decrease inflammation and swelling yes it can be used for muscle reeducation and it increases the local circulation and it facilitates the tissue healing in coming to the dangers skin breakdown is one of the danger as well as burn is one of the danger for the dynamic current and coming to the precautions potential danger can be overcome by short period of application or reversing the polarity and coming to the method of application it depends upon dielectric placement the method of application will be altered so we can use for pain spot application next is your myogen myoenergetic application vasotropic application trans region application para vertebral application nerve trunk applications so coming to the pain spot application we can go for bipolar technique or monopolar technique in bipolar technique the anode applied over the pain spot area and cathode is applied near to it and in monopolar technique in which the active electrode or anode applied over the pain spot area and the cathode may be applied proximal on the limb or the nerve supplying the painful area next application is your myoenergy application in which there are two techniques bipolar as well as monopolar if you are using only one electrode this is known as bipolar two electrode means it is known as bipolar if you are using only one electrode means that is known as monopolar in bipolar two electrodes are placed at the each end of the muscle belly and monopolar means one electrode may be placed on the motor point and other proximal to it next one is the vasotropic applications so we can use over the vascular parts is there any uh, circulatory disorders means we can use this vasotropic applications over the pathway of the blood vessels and next is your trans region applications in order to treat the joints we can use the electrodes that may place opposite to each other in within the joints area next is para vertebral application the electrodes may be placed on both sides of the spine at the level of the nerve root supplying the painful area if several nerve roots are involved means the electrode may may be applied alongside the spine at the highest and lowest nerve levels and coming to the next application that is nerve trunk applications the two electrodes are placed along the course of the peripheral nerve trunk where it is superficial and the patient should feeling a tingling sensation in the nerve supplied by the nerve stimulated so this is all about the this is the different references uh, of this dynamic current and with this i am concluding this dynamic current and thank you for watching this video please do subscribe and share this video to to the physio friends and physio fraternity thank you